bees are? Trees. Trees. Trees, that's right. Wrong. This is a theatrical set. It's make-believe. Real trees are much bigger. We wanted to use real trees, but we couldn't figure out how to get them in here. That's not Ooh, true. I had a really like, good idea how to bring them in here. I was one tree that here. was right out there, but I think... Are you finished? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> trees and other plants make the food that they need to grow, and the food that we need to eat. Like apples, oh, and cherries, <laughs> and bananas. <laughs> they do this by... formation of carbohydrates in plants from water and CO2 by the action of sunlight on chlorophyll. That means the plants suck up water through the roots. It goes up and up and up into the green leaves where the chlorophyll is. The leaves take in CO2, that's carbon dioxide, from the air. The sun. Oh, hey, you be the sun. <laughs> the sun shines on it all and presto, you've got food. Yes, Marty, but what's CO2? Well, what's this? Oh, <laughs> That's the onion crust. It's also CO2. That's what people breathe out. And CO2 is what trees breathe in to help make food. But what do trees breathe out? They breathe out oxygen. Hey, that's what we breathe in. Mm -hmm. We breathe in what they breathe out. And they breathe out what we breathe in. That's neat. That's confusing. <laughs> no, that's... Symbiosis. Two different things living together and helping each other. And now we need your help to sing a song about trees and people living together. Whenever we hold up this sign, we need you to say photosynthesis with us. It's a little bit, bit of a big word, so first let's try photo. Say it with photo. photo. Good. Now let's try synthesis. 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 Now let's put it together. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Good. Awesome. You guys rock. Okay, so when we hold up this sign, you say symbiosis. First try sim. 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 Good. And then biosis. Biosis. Great. Now put them together. Symbiosis. Okay, here it goes. But only hold up, only say the words when we hold up these signs. <laughs> All right, first word is photosynthesis. Now photo is an ancient word, it has to do with light. And synthesis means making, putting things together. Right. Combining sun and water and a little CO2 is what we call photosynthesis. Which only plants can do. <laughs> Ready? Photosynthesis. 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 A very big important word, the way it goes is this. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. That's the way that plants make food. Great job, guys. All right, here's our next word, symbiosis. Now, sim means together. And biosis means to live. When two things live together, they both take and they both give. They have to learn to share the world. That's how they both survive. They help each other all the time. That's how they stay alive. All together now. Symbiosis. Symbiosis. symbiosis, all the plants and animals, and even you and me. Symbiosis, symbiosis, we live in perfect harmony. There's harmony when we live in the sea, and there's harmony when music and children don't know agree. There's harmony when we live in peace together. There is harmony when you and are we. We all make harmony, harmony, <laughs> river and sea, flower and bee, and beast and bird and tree, and you and me. We make a perfect harmony. Now, trees also give us wood to build houses and furniture. What else can we get from trees? Yes. Yes. Yeah. What else? Yes. Paper towels. Paper towels. Yeah. Perfect. Very good. That's all very good, as long as we remember to only take what we really need and let the rest of the trees grow. Sometimes, though, people forget how important the trees are, and the results can be disastrous. This is a story about two greedy guys who didn't care at all about trees or harmony or anything except money. 
And what happened when those two greedy guys came? And what happened when those two greedy guys came? That was only going to happen yeah, one, one time. Yeah. Why didn't he do it? Uh, I don't know. Do I think he's trying to be funny. That's not funny. Yeah. Okay, okay. What should we do? And what happened when those two greedy guys? <laughs> <laughs> he's doing it again. We have to trick him. We do. Trick him. Um, <laughs> okay. I'll try. I'll try. Okay. And what happened when those two people came to the forest? Watch and see. <laughs> the nasty individuals show up later. You can tell by their greedy vest. <laughs> but our story begins with the person who owned the forest. That would be me. She loved to go to the forest each day and spend time with all the lovely plants and animals. If you took a walk in the forest, what might you see? Yeah? Trees and animals. Anything specifically? Um, uh, bushes. Yeah? That's all true. That's all very true. She just loved to go to the woods and spend time with her closest, closest friends. The first one was an owl, but this was a highly intelligent owl. It was a talking owl <laughs> named <laughs> Sapienza. Sapienza means intelligent, and Sapienza is also a beautiful name. And I am a beautiful owl. And Sapienza, I always go to for advice or answers to tough questions. She is, after all, highly intelligent and beautiful and beautiful. <laughs> And a tiny bit stuck on herself, too. <laughs> you. Who? You. Who? Who? I didn't mean to ruffle your feathers. You didn't. My feathers are perfectly calm and unruffled. I don't give a hoot what you think. My other friend, Elmer, <laughs> isn't as smart as Sapienza. Who is? But he's big and strong and beautiful in his own way. And very, very nice. In fact, I don't know anyone nicer. <laughs> Whenever I feel sad or scared or upset, I just visit Elmer. Ever since I was a little girl, he's been my closest, closest friend. And he's so funny. He can always make me laugh. He's just wonderful. Oh, stop, stop. You're embarrassing me. And you know what happens when I get embarrassed. My leaves turn bright red. And you know who gets so upset. <laughs> Why, Jack Frost, of course. Huh. I thought you knew everything. I never said I knew everything. Yes, I just knew this one particular day that we were having a lot of Okay, stop, 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 you two. <coughs> this is my other friend, Elmer Grantree. Elmer who? Elmer Grantree. I'm a Grantree because I talk. <laughs> it's true. Have you ever listened to the trees? Sometimes when the wind is blowing through the leaves, you can almost hear them talking, which of course they do. If you know how to listen, you don't believe me? No. There really is no reason <laughs> you should balk at the notion of a forest that can talk. You've heard a murmur in pine. Listen closer, you can hear them. Murmur, 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 murmur. They say what they please, and they <laughs> love to <your> cheese. <laughs> a pine will give you the needle, and, and nothing, nothing can be those baby oaks. When it comes to cracking a corny jokes, Must remember that acorns are nuts, and down by the creek, you can hear the willow weeping. They're so melodramatic, and back in the park, Hark! I hear a dogwood bark, Ruff! out of house and lark. Yes, all those talkative trees love shooting the breeze, and their voices are sure to please. They've got such a lovely temper. <laughs> <laughs> the three of us spend a lot of time together. Some days I'll bring a lunch and a good book to read, and if I get too hot, Elmer will shade me with his leaves because he's so kind. <laughs> and if I get tired, I'll just lean up against him because he's so strong. At? Uh, and if you get stuck on a big word in one of your books? You help me out because you're so intelligent. So intelligent. And, <laughs> and so beautiful. So beautiful. And, and so conceited. And so con Hey, Elmer! 
You're sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's good. Remember, the three of us are best friends. We're all part of the circle of life. <laughs> well, I breathe out the trees, breathe in, add water and sun. You got photosynthesis. The trees breathe out what I breathe in. We're back at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> the trees grow roots, the roots hold the soil, take away the trees. And you start to spoil it all, the soil erodes, it washes away, and the circle is broken. Whoa! Whoa. 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 <laughs> Without the soil, no trees can grow. Then where do the birds and the animals go? With no seeds to eat, no place to live. Without the breath and beauty that the forest gives. Without the trees, how could we stay alive? <laughs> well, this has been lovely, but there's a book I want to check out from the library, and they close in 15 minutes. I've got to fly. All right, bye, Safienza. <laughs> you too, Omar? Don't be silly. Even talking trees don't fly. Although, I do have to leave. <laughs> bye. Hi, <laughs> Omar.
it again. <laughs> uh, you mean there's money hidden in the trees? That's it. That's the answer. There's money in the trees. And you know who figured it out? Uh-uh. You did. I did. I did? Sure. If you trees, harvest the wood, quick as you please, it turns to something good. Dollars, cash, bucks, coins, there's money in lumber. Trees are just wood, till they are sold, you and I could turn lumber into gold. Bullion, nuggets, ingots, bars, there's money in lumber. We'll find whoever owns this place, to hammer her, it needs a facelift. Just a little for his nip and tuck. <laughs> we'll have her sign a little deal, we'll get it for a song. We'll steal it. All we need's a little bit of luck. Yeah, luck. Before that half wits half will wear, this lovely forest will be bare. Who cares what's ecologically right? At 50 saws a dozen trucks. Oh, wait, pause. Okay. Okay. Carry the three, divide by two. <laughs> the answer's several million bucks. A million bucks? We'll make a brand new desert overnight. Oh, take a few trees, harvest the wood. Would you please, it turns to something good. Dollars. Cash. Bucks. Coin. Trees are just wood. I'd love to be rich. I would. I would. I would. I would. Till they're sold. You got me convinced. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. Once they are sold, the lumber's good as gold. Bullion. Nuggets. Ingots. Farts. There's money in wood. <laughs> all the talking. Take a look at our vests. I got 100 times more sense than you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, boss. <laughs> Excuse me, do you own this forest? Well, yes, I do. Lovely forest, isn't it? Oh, yes. Exactly what I was thinking. Lovely, very lovely. Lovely forest you got here. Silver splendor, a marble display. <laughs> Lovely forest you got here. Just a bit too much shade. Yeah, too much shade. <laughs> Lovely forest you got here. Lovely forest you got here. Lovely sights, lovely sounds, lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely forest you got here. Just a little too dense. Yeah, dense. Woods with just a little more room, a little less gloom, more light. You got blight here, you know. Picture woods with just a little more space. Picture the line, the ambience, the grace. The forest blooms too thick and the pines are too towering. These uncut woods could use a little deflowering. Stop your flowering and smile. Lovely forest you got here. Lovely forest you got but here. You've been just a little too lax. A little too lax. Great potential you got here. You got potential. But it needs trimming out here. It would be lovelier still. If you gave it the axe. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-seven thousand acres. Twenty-seven thousand acres. <laughs> Tell you what, you got a forest needs trimming, and we're just the guys to do it. Yeah, we'll trim you. How's this sound? We'll give you a bucket acre for timber rights. The land is still yours. The trees get trimmed. So do you. And you make twenty-seven thousand dollars. I've got the contract right here. Just sign, and we'll take care of everything else. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe I should check with Elmer and Sapienza first. The forest is theirs, too. Check, Schmeck. Just sign. It'll all be fine. I don't know. The trees are a living, breathing part of the circle of life. A circle that feeds itself. $27,000 for a bunch of wood. Think of all the good things that someone could do. With 27 grand. And you get to keep the land. Oh, 
was meant for sticking and the trees was meant to use. Now's the time to choose what you got to lose. You could have anything you please. It's a simple thing to do. Cause money grows on trees. And what good are the trees compared to money? Money is so indispensable. Money is a thing that you cannot do without. What it's all about. Just sign here on the dotted line. It's a standard bill of sale. What's at stake? Well, the print's so fine. It says, trust me, the check's in the mail. <laughs> It'll help your bottom line. Yeah. Come on. I still don't know, guys. Make up your mind. Have your people crunch the numbers. $27,000 for a bunch of wood. 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 Numbers and words. <laughs> 27,000 buys a lot of anything, buys a lot of stuff. And money can grow just like trees. It's so easy. Just, just sign. Just sign. Just sign right now. You don't have to buy Here's the pin. Here's the pin. All that you can do is sign. Yeah, you just need a sign. You can buy anything you want. You can buy anything. Fine. $27,000 for a bunch of wood. $27,000 for a bunch of wood. $27,000 to the good. $27,000. $27,000. $27,000 for a bunch of wood. $27,000 for a bunch of wood. $27,000 for a bunch of wood. Good! <laughs> Lovely profit I got here Made up 
dollars is a lot of money. But the woods are just too important to destroy. I've changed my mind. <laughs> but I've got to get going. Where? Some place where there's lots of trees. I can't live like this, and I'll tell you a secret. Neither can you. If you keep wiping out the forest, and pretty soon the climate, the air, the ozone, the people are all gone. Isn't there anything I can do? Well, I guess it's never too late to fix a mistake. I'll tell you what. Here's a couple of seeds to get you started. Maybe if you start planting trees now, your grandchildren can enjoy a forest here someday. But it'll take a lot of time and a lot of work and a lot of love. Are you sure you're up to it? I'm sure. In that case, maybe the trees will survive. Love is the secret that keeps them alive. If we have love, Ha <laughs> ha 
Can't the trees live, so please, please, please. Take 